Hi everyone, Dr. Arlen Hill here with PaleoLifestyleDoctor.com and today I want to breach the topic of artificial sweeteners and give you some insight into some of the effects that these particular um, non-nutritive, non-caloric sweeteners are actually having on our health. So we've been, we've been sort of led to believe that these are safe alternatives and ways to keep, uh, keep from having to consume sugar in our diet. But one of the things that's interesting to note about these artificial sweeteners, and, and just to sort of give you a, a, an idea of which things we're talking about here, you'll probably recognize some of these more by their trade names. Things such as Sweet and Low, um, Equal, Splenda, um, Asulfane Potassium, and Splenda also having the name of Sucralose. These are probably the more common names, but with Sucralose specifically, or Splenda specifically, this is a substance that actually is 600 more times sweeter than actual sugar is. So that's just short, that should sort of raise a red flag to you that a substance like that can be that much sweeter than actual sugar. Now, when you look at this molecule, and I've actually got a diagram, an image in the blog post associated with this video, take a look at that picture of Splenda. You'll actually see that there's chlorine attached to that to that structure in the place of other nutrient or in the place of other um, uh, other elements. That's important because that's going to have some toxicity effects long term. Now, when I say long term, there have been some studies that have been done that look at the acute toxicity effects of Splenda and they don't show any negative effects. And what we're seeing now is, is that these effects are not short term in nature, they're more long term, they're more cumulative in nature. One of the areas that this seems to have the most profound effect that we know of at this point, and there may be others that come up in the future, but that area is going to be the gastrointestinal tract. The effects that we see from the consumption of these artificial sweeteners is that we change the balance of bacteria in our gastrointestinal tract to a scenario where we begin to create inflammatory mediators that are going to set us up for predisposition for metabolic syndrome. So there's a correlation between an altered balance of bacteria in your GI tract and the development of metabolic syndrome. And artificial sweeteners are actually promoting that change. So this is a little bit ironic when you think about it because artificial sweeteners were actually introduced as a way not to have to consume sugar but to have the same benefits of sugar consumption. But now you're looking at it as it's causing the same, it's contributing to the same long-term outcomes as the consumption of sugar does just through a different mechanism. So if you're consuming artificial sweeteners out there still, I would highly urge you to discontinue the use of these. But if you're not, great for you, but understand that if you've got friends and family that are, highly discourage them to do it, to, to not continue to utilize these things. I want to thank you for taking the time to listen to this information, and please, if you're interested in more information about this, look at the associated blog post. Again, I'm Dr. Arland Hill with PaleoLifestyleDoctor.com. Thank you.